Greetings and welcome to the 43rd episode in my Pokemon Omicron. Let's play Walkthrough. I am Jonathan. Welcome to Monkey Up the Game. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. If you've missed that last episode, go check it out. There is a link down in the description below. So you know what the juice is going on. Don't forget to leave that like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share it with your friends, answer that comment question down below. Last episode, we made it here to the Quasar Plateau. We had a bit of a longer episode last time because we got drawn into a battle with our rival and two of his buddies, which we, we beat. We beat fairly easily, to be honest. So, I've just been prepping a little bit off screen. Um, haven't leveled anyone else up further or anything like that. Uh, but I've been giving out some I some hold items. Just nothing to change with Thunderbolt apart from he's got King's Rock. He is in front because the first person you come up against is a dark tech user. So I'm prepping for that. He's got the focus band, nothing else has changed there. Jura, he's got the air and Dr. Light. Uh, Earthquake, Water Slide, Crunch, Fire Fang, we got rid of Fly, because we don't need that anymore. Uh, and gave him Fire, uh, fire Fang. So, hopefully, that will do some good. Although we don't have any. I shall look into that in a moment. Uh, got rid of Waterfall and Dive on Sea Biscuit here, so he's got Skull and Rain Dance. Just don't know. Nothing changed. Got left Nothing, Nothing changed. Uh, can't remember if I have got a Flying Type TM. Hopefully, there are places or something. Giving back uh, fly or something. Uh, oh, okay. I thought I had a, a flying type TM like uh, aerial ice or something, but apparently not. Uh, which is no matter. I think we might just. against it. Actually no th there isn't. We don't we don't need fly. We do not need fly on this team. The flying is on the team. So we are going to uh, take on the Elite Four. I'm afraid you'll have to turn battle style. Ah oh, yes. Okay, well, we need to change the battle style to set. Separating me and my Pokemon, there we go. Okay, yeah, so you, you need to have it on a set battle style, meaning that I cannot switch when I knock out one of the opponent's uh, Pokemon. Meaning I would have to switch during battle, which I can... It's what I'm doing in my Pokemon Black randomi randomizer switch lock, where I can't switch out, like... That's how I set the battle style, which by the way, you check out in the description for the players below in the description. But, um, let's do this. I'm not wearing my headset because I'm hopefully expecting someone to come pick up the parcel. And this should be Tobias, I believe. Oh, is this Tobias? It is Tobias. Don't type I see you finally made it. 
I'm obliged to formally introduce myself, though I believe we are already acquainted. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't believe it, I can't remember. I'm Tobias, brother of the, brother of the ghost type Jim Lee Graham, and the dark type user of the elite foot. Well, ah, uh, okay. How the creature seems, thought was Arceus, was merely a phantom I designed. No matter, you are here for a single purpose, and that is to battle. Now, defeat me and see if you're worthy of the title champion. I don't know how many battles we are going to get in this episode. I am possibly thinking of doing it like three and then three here, or two here, and then three later. Because this champion as well. I might just like just two and two and champion. And then because we've got those games. And he looks really young. He looks I thought it was just really long hair that he's got, but no, it's just the background line. Okay, that is strange. Hi, Dragon. Who is with the Dragon first? Okay. Uh, this is where... Mm. Oh, God, it's going to die. Mm. That's through me a little. That is actually through me a little. Is it just a dragon? Dark type or is it Dark Dragon? I know. No, of course it's a. It's, it's, yeah, it's. Yeah, okay, so what's it weak against? What are you weak against? Of course it's going to be Dragon type moves. It is still weak to bug types. Okay, that is actually quite useful. I may just uh, stick with this. What's its weakest stat? Defense and special defense are even. Okay. But as soon as the uh, Thunderbolt is a special attacker, we shall just go straight over the special attack move and ah, oh, focus that. You smart person. But your things lie then because the uh, the wiki for it says it's holding a weakness policy, which it isn't clearly. Oh, it's so rock! Oh, that explains it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've just seen the message on the screen but it's just been sat there for two minutes. And then... Yeah, okay. Alright. He's going to use a full restore. That's one of two gone. I was not thinking properly then. Okay, yes, he does leave... There we go. He does lead with... It didn't even change the name of it. Oh my goodness, that was a doofus sort of thing. That's... Tyranitar. Okay, not brilliant. This is where we would probably bring in someone like Iron Giant or Sharpie. Or Seabiscuit. Or Seabiscuit. But, we are going to bring in the big guns. Safe switch there, thank goodness. Uh, let's go for that hammer arm. Okay, you can... Do not flinch, do not flinch. Let's try that again. Why did not use Earthquake on me? That's clearly a stronger move. I'm so super effective. Most. He, 
he's going he's going to use a dark type move, uh, the dark matter move, dark pulse. So yeah, we're switching to thunderbolt. I I'm not taking any chances on this. I want to win this first time. I don't I don't want to be losing this. Dark pulse, good. Resists. Maybe not. Okay, that that was a big hit. So And knockouts, or it's going to be a two two pit KO, two pit KO. Weakness policy activated. Attack rose. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, that's not good. Fire blast. Thank Argus. Thank Argus that that missed. Chances are he is going to use. Yeah, full restore once again. Bubbles this time. Oh, that does so much. I think I should have probably stuck with uh, Signal Beam. But never mind. We still, we still managed to beat it. We still managed to beat it, which is good. Alright, so. Launch Crow. Yes. Okay. We. Mm. Mm. Can I actually use. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's use Thunderbolt. Because this this will be. This will be powerful. This should be. This should do plenty of damage. Continue. There we go. There we go. Level 74. Because that's how we do we got next? Mr. Vess? Okay, yes, we are going to switch on this one now. I think Mr. Vess is just a ghost type. It is just a ghost type. Okay, okay, yeah, we are switching now. We are going to switch into Jura. Granted, he is the weakest on the team. Shadow Ball, that should be okay. And we don't get to take any damage from the Sandstorm, so we are going to Mega Revolve this bad boy and take it out with a crotch. Super effective, you will be gone, you are gone. Thank goodness. Okay. We've got one more now, which is Absol, which does have a Mega Stone as well attached to it, which is not ideal, but we uh, should be able to. I am thinking. Should still outspeed it, hopefully. Do we still outspeed? Yes, we still do outspeed. Can we get the flinch? Can we get the flinch? Yes, we got the flinch. And you are taking a sucker punch. Okay, not the end of the world there. Oh, but we survived and we got the win. First win against the Elite Four. Let's go. Masters. Amazing. I lost. You're truly as strong as Graham told me. Tell me, Jonathan, have you ever heard of the sig Sigil Halls? No. On the eastern end of the Vesperin region, there is a landmass known as the Vesperin Spear. Inside the cities of this region lies four buildings known as the Sigil Halls. Think of them as a sort of gym for the Elite Four. Only those who have beaten the Elite Four themselves have committed to battle there. I think you can make it though. I expect you to be at mine in due time. Best of luck in the future. Alright, that was... Not... That was pretty good! We, we managed to do that pretty damn well. We managed that pretty well on the, on the set style. 
make him some smart choice moves there, of course. Let's just get this team back into full health conditions and whatnot. And we are already 15 minutes into the episode. Alright, okay. You're an electric type user. Cobalt, okay. Electric type user. We. We are leading with the big gun. Biggest gun that we've got. He's not going to stand a chance. Welcome, Jonathan. I'm Cola, the electric type user of the Elite Four. Remember me? No. We met back in Olympus's secret lair, when they'll try to free Sable Lion. Oh yeah, now I remember. I heard you defeated Zeus. My congratulations! And now you're here, taking on the Elite Four. Just because you beat Zeus doesn't mean I'm going easy on you. Hope you're ready. It's time for time to drop some beats. All right, here we go. Battle number two. Let's go. Lantern. Okay. Water. Electric type. Should not be an issue for Earthquake. Hopefully. And it's such a high level. There we go. First. First one down. Six to go. Galvantula. This will be easy again. Earthquake. Ooh. Of course he outspeeds, but... Hang in there. There we go. Thank goodness he didn't get the fingers on me. But that is a smart move, having... Yeah, he's... he's... Oh, well, hmm. Whatever. Okay. Right. This is where it does get a bit difficult. We... Could we go for stone it? Ice beam again, oh this can do some damage. But we still survive, get the stone edge once more, finish it off. Cheery bye. Amphros. Okay, this thing does mega revolve. Do we heal? We should. Yeah, we should probably heal at this point. Um, although, Dragon Pulse, Power Gem, Focus Blast, Thunder. Okay, so Focus Blast and Thunder, it cannot use. Power Gem... It hasn't got any super effective moves. Power Gem... Yeah, it doesn't have any super effective moves, so we should be okay. We should be able to resist uh, attacks. So... Here comes Power Ballad, 80s Power Ballad, Rockstar. There we go, Amphros. Dragon Pulse, okay, that should just, that is neutral damage. Still so much. So, Earthquakes should still be super effective, even though, even though it's a Dragon Tank. Yep, still super effective. There we go. Whew. It is quite warm in here. Right yeah, we have speed it straight away, I know that. Will it have stir? I think it's got stir. Yeah, it has sturdy. Okay, not. We'll use Stone Edge once again, just to get it out of that sturdy. Okay, let's not use that. Try that again. Get out of the sturdy. Special defense? Yeah, you can do that. Do what you want. Whatever makes you happy. Right. So that is down. This is actually going a lot easier than I thought. Electivire. Okay. This thing, no doubt, will be quicker. Yeah. 
but leads off with a defense lowering move, okay. But. <laughs> no match against Iron Giant, who is 12 levels higher than you. What are you doing? And there we go, that is the second win. You know what? I think we are just going to. You get the title champion, okay. Oops, so drop Okay, let's heal up the team once more. Well, let's say heal up the team, heal up Iron Giant. Um, let's just refill your earthquake. going to end the episode here. So we, we are going to do two battles for this first one, so we're going to end the episode here, two battles in the next one, and then the champion in the lap, in the third part of this uh, Elite Four uh, part. So this is where we're going to end the episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave that like, subscribe to that channel, to, yeah, press the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that notification bell, share it with your friends, answer that comment question down below, stay tuned for the next one guys, because it'll be awesome, so until then, as Chris does it, I'm going to say it again, stay tuned guys. <laughs>